Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today is August 17th, 2017, and my season is getting close to an end, but I have these new crosses that are going on F3. This is my Staracha Hornet, and I don't want these to go to waste. I actually want some fruits to come out of this so I can pick them before um, winter gets here and everything dies off. So uh, what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna take two of these out of soil, I'm gonna put it inside my hydroponic system inside to speed it up. Let's go through the process and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. I'm, I, I only have room for two, so I'm gonna leave one outside. I'm gonna select these two here. So the first thing we're gonna do now is remove these out of the soil. All right, we're gonna take it into the grass. What we're gonna do here is use our water hose to spray this down to remove the root and rinse it off and make sure nothing's damaged. So we're just gonna take it out. Right there. And then gently rinse this off. So there's our plant there. We're gonna rinse it some more. So I'll leave it here for now. We'll do this one. So that nice and clean. We'll rinse it off some more. Okay, I have both plants undamaged. We're gonna rinse the excess off here. And sometimes the uh, these are like the wood section that get attached. I'm gonna try to see if I can take that off. All right, they're nice and clean now, so let's go inside and plant them. Okay, what we're gonna do is put the plants inside my unit here. This is the Aero Garden. And I have two spots reserved for those. So first what we're going to do is pH balance our water. And uh, you want to adjust this to around 5.9 to 6.3. Somewhere around there. That, that's what I find works best. And I use pH down. And my water is around 7.8. So let me go ahead and adjust it real quick. Okay, once you add pH down, we're gonna use pH meter to uh, measure it. And I will provide all the links to these, um, to these equipment, so if you wanna buy them, you can check them out. All right, and for nutrients, I'm going to use the AeroGuard nutrients because I have these available. I may change it later, but uh, this is what I'm going to start with. For one gallon, I'm going to use 5 milliliter, and this one has an exact 1 teaspoon 5 milliliter measure, so that's what I'm going to give use. Alright, shake it up really nicely. Okay, we are ready to add this to our unit, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, that is our plant, and then what we're going to use is, instead of the Aero Garden net cup here, I order these off of eBay, they're, they're like a dollar, or, or under two dollars for like ten of these. and. Uh, they're pretty cool, nice little net cups here with the little hole at the bottom. And if 
it has a nice fit there which is good enough then I also have these little rock wool cubes here that you can also order off Amazon they're very cheap and what I'm gonna do first is place uh, the plant in the rock wool so I'm gonna cut down the middle here like that and so that you can fit the plant in And so you want the roots to hang at the bottom like that. And part of the stem exposed at the top. And then you're going to feed that through here. Through that nice little hole at the bottom. So it's very important not to damage the roots at this stage. Okay, then we'll place it in here. All right, then we turn on our unit and we're ready to go. There you go. As you can hear, it's working. And then we need to lower the lights and you want it as close as possible like that so that the plants can get plenty of lights to grow strong so that is that is all for now we will be back and I will update you as the plants grow some more Alright guys, today is September 17th and it has been exactly one month since we did the transplant and as you can see there is a significant difference in growth. Um, look at the size of these leaves, they're gigantic. So this one is much larger than that one because um, when I brought the plant inside, uh, the pl this one was struggling a little bit so it took more time to recover but this one for some reason it recovered nicely and then it just grew um, I was going to do updates in between but I forgot so it, it's now been a month and the plants is just basically um, past the recovery period um, when you transplant your plant from soil into here it goes through a shock there's a period of shock so it'll your leaves may turn uh, a little different color like it will have a few spots here and there but that's fine it's just you know it's getting adjusted the roots are are, are getting used to water instead of soil but as long as um, you just keep conditioning the roots and don't allow uh, the plants to sort of like drown and they should be fine and they they should not drown because this is an aerated system so it has constant uh, um, aeration going to the root so this should be fine but if you do it uh, sort of like a cracking method then you need to be a little bit more careful but let me take you closer and let you see what's going on here I may take this guy uh, out into a different system and then just allow this one to stay on its own but man it's it's looking beautiful right now and as you can see uh, I'm using the arrow garden here this is the bounty and you see there the light is just slightly above the plant and I did that on purpose because let me show you why so you see you notice look at the size of that trunk and there's uh, new shoots there but the new shoots won't grow unless you clean off of the the larger leaf and allow lights to get through um, I'm gonna leave that it this way for for a while I'm not gonna mess with it because once you start cutting the leaves it actually put the plant into um, sort of like shock a little bit and then it will set the plant back and this one would would sort of like stop growing and then that one would would grow larger so a, as they're growing like this um, they sort of like in the growth spurt so um, don't mess with them because if you do anything to it it'll set it back and it'll slow down a little bit but uh, if you do want short plant then you can mess with it you can top it if you want to you can cut the leaves but once you cut these bottom leaves here and you don't cut the top the top will continue to grow so you 
if you want the bottom shoots right like that there to grow out then you must you must cut the top because then the, the energy goes back down here and also you need to clean these leaves out so that those shoots can see some light but um I'm not going to do that because I'm actually rushing um, this plant I want it to produce uh, pots quickly so I'm just gonna let it grow just like this so one, as soon as I get a few pots and stuff like that then I'll start to, I'll clean up the plant a little bit but this one's smaller and this one's going to be moved somewhere so you see if you can see in there there's some buds right there but anyway here is uh, the roots let me, let you see it look at that good nice root system there so for the water uh, I usually leave it to around uh, three weeks before I uh, changed it out sometimes I, I, I just leave it alone but yeah four weeks uh, is just too much but uh, when it reach about three weeks then you know kind of drain the water and then add some new new nutrients that way the plants doesn't um, uh, that way it has enough nutrients and it, it doesn't become imbalanced after a while as you can see you can speed the plants up pretty nicely with uh, a unit like this you can use the arrow garden if you want if you have your own system you can also use that as well but um, it's a fun project so try it out for yourself you'll be amazed at the results so I will post more information in the description below so if you guys want to uh, see where this unit is you can check it out also the type of nutrients that I use in the rock wool and all that stuff so uh, make sure to check there alright guys uh, that's all for this video for now if you guys want to see updates later uh, let me know and I will record a follow-up